I'm Emil, the practical engineer, and today I'm making a tabletop pinball machine. Because of the size of the project, I decided to make a mini series out of it that will consist of four videos. And today we start with the first one, the base. one inside radius that would save a lot of time if we drill it now so I almost forgot it but if we drill this radius here while everything's still connected that would save a lot of time later So the basic side panels are done. I will need to do uh, some more work on it. I need to cut a groove here on the side for the T-molding that I've ordered, but I haven't received it yet, so I'll do that later. And I also have to cut a groove here for the plexiglass. And I will do that at the same time as the T-molding. So I'm putting these away uh, for now. Cut a groove in here with the router to for the plexiglass to rest on and then later when the cabinet is more finished I will hide that groove and the plexiglass edge with some aluminum uh, corner bracket. Before I'm assembling the front and the back to the play field I'm gonna cut the holes for the flippers first. The reason I'm doing that is because now I have a flat plate and I can I have the highest chance of drilling straight and getting a uh, nice clean hole. Put it back into the box for now because I don't want to damage it. But we know it fits, fits really nice. And off to the flipper buttons. I think this feels right. I cut the grooves for the trim molding and I cut the grooves for the glass panel all with the router. I'm gonna give them a quick coat with black spray paint and then I quickly run to the post office to get the stickers. <laughs> I'm about to do the playing field, so just in time. Let's cut it out, stick it on there, and we can move on. If you want to print stickers like this, I would always suggest to print them a little bit bigger than you need them because like this you can stick them on and if they're a little bit on an angle you can just cut the edges off and nobody will notice.
after I mount this one on the side panel, I mounted the small one here and I could pull this one straight, connect it and now it's rock solid. When you're mounting the second side, it's really important that they are straight from them from each other and that they are at same height because otherwise the pinball machine will either wobble or it will just be angled and the ball will run to one side all the time. So I'm gonna connect the angle bracket with only a few screws and then check if I did it right. So now the sides are mounted, I can put stickers on. So same procedure as last time, let's go. I forgot to cut this hole on the bandsaw. And the most stupid thing is, I thought about it like five minutes ago, and then I glued it in. So I had to fix it with a multi-tool with the plunge saw. Uh, I didn't put it in the video because, well, it was just quick and fix it. No, um, this will all be covered, so you you will not be able to see this later. So that's the positive thing. But uh, yeah, if you make a, a drawing for yourself, at least look at it. <laughs> The base of the pinball machine is all done. I have to put some plexiglass in here, but I'm gonna wait with it until I have the rest. Uh, next week I will be doing the flippers and the launching mechanism. So if you want to see the rest of the build, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know what you think of this video and I will see you next week. And don't forget, dare to experiment and have fun creating.